Hi, this is Tony O with Tony O's Reviews, and today we're going to be looking at a Whirlpool refrigerator. We had a Samsung refrigerator that had ice and water in the door. Um, it was a really big refrigerator, but I believe this one has a little bit more space, and uh, I'm going to show it to you here in just a second. Let me tell you a little about it, why we got it. The Samsung that we had started making a noise. I called uh, the company we got it from and we had a five-year warranty but we were just outside that warranty so i had to pay to have somebody come out and look at it and um, they said there was, there was i forget what they said it was but it was freezing up and it's causing the fan to hit the ice and i did unplug it right before they got there for about six hours i emptied it out unplugged it for a while I thought maybe it would thaw out and plug it back in. It made noise, but not near like it was. I mean, it sounded like you had cards in your bicycle spokes, you know, just when you open the door, it would stop because the fan would stop and you close it and it'd start back up. But the uh, guy came out and he said that there was ice building up, hitting the fan, and he could replace it. He said that the insulation around the, the uh, defrost part wore out or melted off or something and it would cause that ice to build up until it was hitting the fan. He said it, eventually it'll stop the fan then it'll stop cooling. And he said I could probably unplug it for a couple of days whenever it started doing that but I'd have to empty it out every time. So we decided to bite the bullet buy a new refrigerator um the fix was like five hundred dollars and it wasn't even going to last he said that it, it might last a year he said sometimes he comes back in a couple of months sometimes it's a year um so for five hundred dollars i want it to last another five years so he said uh, that the best kind of refrigerator to get was a whirlpool i asked him i said what do you not work on as much and he said whirlpools so we got to looking at Whirlpool, Whirlpool, Maytag, Gen Air, KitchenAid, Whirlpool makes all those. So that's what we looked for and we decided, you know, to, to uh, go with this one. And here, let's go take a look at it right now. Okay, so here is our new refrigerator. It's a Whirlpool. The delivery guys dropped it. Um, you can see the dents there. Um, the place we bought it said they would replace it. They have to order a new one. So when they get the new one in, they'll replace it. Let me open the doors. This is... There we go. Big doors lit up pretty pretty well. Let's get this slider down here. Your meats and cheeses. Get a vegetable, a fruit. I don't know if you can see humidity control. Um, a lot of shelf space. Um, we opted to get the one with the freezer. I mean, in the ice maker down below, there is water in the door here. Um, it's a two-handed operation. You got to hold the cup, push the button. Um, I'm guessing if they had a one-handed operation, you're putting stuff in, you probably bump it. I don't know. Um, these are deep. You can put a gallon of milk in here. We don't have a gallon of milk. Not big milk drinkers. Here's the freezer. Um, got a bunch of junk in there, but it's got this tray, and this is where the ice will fall out. So, that's the look at it. I don't see the model number anywhere. Ah, there we go. Good look at the model number. And I'll take it back to the table. So that was a look at the refrigerator. 
Um, I think we're going to really like it. Um, it's not going to be as convenient as the last one. The last one we had had the ice and water in the door. Um, my mom and dad have a Samsung that had ice and water in the door, and the ice maker went out like the first year. But they also had it also made ice in the freezer, so that the freezer is still working. They probably had theirs about ten years, and the repair guy said that they usually last about eight years. So hopefully having this Whirlpool, um, it will last eight years or longer. Um, I think it'll be more efficient having the, the, the ice down below in the freezer. May not be as convenient, but still I think it'll last longer and be more efficient. So uh, I'm gonna rate it 7.8 to 8.3 I'm going to start rating the things I give I have um, so that's my review be sure and uh, click the subscribe button that pops up over here and back over on this side will be my lat my latest review um, it's going to be on the pop voice microphone I'm using it right now I really like it I'm going to give it probably a 7.3 is really good uh, for the price uh, watch the review. Check it out. Thanks for watching Tonio's reviews. Click the like and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.